guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Maya Jome. So BTW, I don't know anything about this show. Um, all I know is that, of course, one of my patrons asked me to, you know, start this and between this and another show that I will be starting in the next few weeks once Twin Star Exorcist is done. I, for both of them, I have no idea what the fuck is going to be happening. I'm guessing from, like, what I saw in poster-wise, it seems like it's, will we consider it a magical girl show? I don't know. I mean, that's the thing, because, like, anything could happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Okay, big moon, pretty. Oh, well, damn, hold up, like, uh, why is the castle being destroyed? Oh, well, that's not pretty. Oh shit, it's like Anastasia all over again. Well, is that the princess? Oh, she bleeding though. Does she have a baby with her? Yeah, a baby. What well, damn, 14 years old. Well, we know the princess died that night. No, it was, but what about the girl? I mean, nobody to see the girl? If that is a girl, I mean, she looks like a girl. Yeah, that's a girl. I'm kind of getting like Sakura Warbs vibes with this. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, and it's by Sunrise. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, 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 because really, I don't know why I feel like I've seen this opening. I have! Oh my god! <laughs> I saw this opening, I think, like, a couple of months ago. A random video on YouTube, just, it got recommended to me. And I was like, okay, let me just see. <laughs> Who would have thought that a couple of months later I'd be watching this show? <laughs> yeah, so this seems like it's Sakura Wars meets Gundam meets Kogias. Um, what is that one series where it's like, it starts with an M. It's Gundam slash Idols. Not, not AKB48, but it does give me that too. Um, 
oh my god, I watched the fucking movies of it, and I, I, I didn't, we didn't finish the movies though, because YouTube was being a dick, and you know, took away my live streaming pri privileges and shit. Dreamy or Arika? Arika? Ari? Yeah, Arika? Oh, that looks good. Oh, of course. Uh oh. Well, you know, the girl, she just walked up and, you know, drank me in a soda. <laughs> <laughs> Not Nina, it's okay. Oh my god, Nina, don't look down on her like that. Jesus. It's still the same thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, what is your name? Huh? How do does she remind you of an aunt? You're only pissed at her because she embarrassed you. It's not really her fault. It's really both of your faults in a way. Oh, that was a cute way to fold it. Oh. <laughs> Poor Ari. Like, Ari just don't know Nina. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Nina too bougie.
I mean, because, like, okay, Ari has to be the next princess in line, right? Because she had that necklace. <laughs> that fat ass cat. <laughs> hmm. Oh, even the cat. <laughs> But wait, you know. Come on, she has nowhere to go. So, would Otomes be, like, maids in a way? Because that's what it seems like it is. Is, is maestro like another word for master? Or like head honcho? <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm also kind of giving like chobits fills. Chibits or chobits? Like, it, it depends on how you say it. Tomato, tomato. Is she the princess? Yeah, I, I think she's the princess because you know. <laughs> oh. It just tells you Ari has potential. Are you okay? I don't think they were trying to kidnap her, though. Uh, oh. Great, you lost her. Oh! oh! Diamond necklace. <laughs> this fat ass Garfield cat. <laughs> oh, bless you. Mm-hmm. Basically. <laughs> I, 
I mean, I feel like Ari, like, poor baby, of course, she's never seen anything, you know, close to, like, big behind technology. Princess. Um, yeah, she's the princess. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta text her real quick because she just screamed out of nowhere. Are you okay? It's it's kind of magical girl acts, even though like you know, it ain't it, okay. Like it, it's like magical girl symphō gear. Yeah, I can see the symphō gear feels like how this could have even inspired symphō gear. <laughs> of course it didn't, honey. Huh. <laughs> yep, there's the necklace. Hmm? How to wait? Time out. Time out. Time out. You're telling me a necklace just powered that? I'm also kind of getting a lot of, you know, um, Yuri vibes with this. That's okay. I'm a fan. Wouldn't be a problem if we also had boys loving this because, you know, hey.
Oh. Uh, Ma'am, um, well, yeah, we do the oh. She is adorable, though. Like, straight up. She cute as hell. Like, oh my god. Yeah, this is, okay. Very much like any other freaking Gundam series that I've seen, slash Magical Girl show that I've seen, I'm already liking it. So, we already know that, yes, that the baby was Arika. But, of course, I'm guessing she doesn't know. So, the girl, and I'm guessing that was the princess, maybe, or that was another Otome, um, who was just handling her and such. So maybe Ari is the princess. I'm a little confused on it because, you know, we, we don't have everything, you know, answered. This is just the first episode. And of course, like the person only wants me to watch, I think season one and season one only because I think the first season is 26 episodes and such. So I'm guessing by the end of the 26 episodes, we're going to find out that she is a princess, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe. But yeah, I like it a lot. It's very different. But yeah, you're giving me feels towards like a lot of other sci-fi Gundam series that I've seen in the past. Plus a whole bunch of Magical Girl-ish that I'm still even watching. Thank God it's not dark. Even though I do like dark Magical Girl stuff. Because you know, hey, I like to see some more sometimes. But she's really cute. Nina... <laughs> Nina is, like, once again, as I said, Nina is just bougie. The princess, bougie, but not as bougie as Nina. <laughs> like, it also reminds me of something else. I just cannot think of. Mmm. Mmm. Revolutionary Girl Utana, yeah, a little bit of that, especially, I don't know, I mean, I, I gotta see more for it, because, like I said, we're ending this first episode, going on to episode two, with a lot of, like, unanswered questions, so I do hope that maybe, you know, the blue sapphire necklace, like, that holds the answers to the key of, like, what all, like, the connection is to Ari, to the Atome who you know, rescued her before she died in it. And like I said, there's a lot of unanswered questions and this is only the first episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two in three, two, one, go.
Why? That's the fat ass guy. You know what else I'm getting feels towards with this? Um, Lyrical Lily. Mm -hmm. Except, you know, at that school they were coming to be like badass warriors. But you, you, you got this with this show. They're, they're technically, you know, kind of mains. But also badass warriors. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm guessing we're going to probably be learning like etiquette and ish. And then, you know. Combat on the side. <laughs> Etiquette lessons in the mornings, combat morning combat <laughs> lessons in the afternoons. Yes. <laughs> See, the one thing I'm kind of wondering is the situation of Nina and her father. You can see that like she wants to be acknowledged by her father highly. Almost any, every kid wants that in their life. But it's like he doesn't pay her any attention and such. So it, it really sucks that she doesn't have like the best relationship with her father right now. So hopefully by the end of this series, you know, it's good. Yeah. Mm. She had to be that Atome who, you know, gave her up in the water. <laughs> I love how expression, <laughs> how so expressful or emotional her hair is. Yeah, this is straight up a girl's love without it being a girl's love, like straight up. I mean, you thought like Sailor Moon was bad with like Usagi being in love with every single person who was in her group. I feel like Arika's gonna be so much worse. <laughs> Arika is literally me like anytime when my like anime has bundos do like anything. They could just talk deeply and be like, YES! <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, do Nina and Tomoe not like each other like that? Are they frenemies? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. But shouldn't you just excuse her? It was an emergency, though. me Yep, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I love how she runs with the cat. It's so cute. But dang, all right. Like what? So like a test? Ooh. 
Oh, well, de- <laughs> oh no, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Bougie has his finest. <laughs> I mean, she might as well. She has a lot of potential. Poor baby. Mm, yeah. Maybe there. So, okay, I got a question. You see how she has a different, oh, God, um, a different color dress than the other two? Is it by, like, ranking? Maybe? Well, not yet. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Well, she may be running around naked now. Everybody around here looking for her. Oh my god. You ran too far! Huh. Well, you know, Ari about to come with a big behind group behind her. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a boy. <laughs> oh.
Oh. We we really doing this. But we know in the end that, you know, Ari is going to be, you know, at school and, and Nina is not going to, you know, leave, so there, uh, why are we doing this? Do we need to? Is it necessary? Really? Like, no. No, 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 no. I, I love, once again, love the dedication to Ari. <laughs> Arika. Girl, oh my god. Mm. <laughs> but, okay, getting to see all the other characters that we got to see in this episode was really interesting. I mean, everybody is interesting different i mean there are some similarities to certain characters i do like she <laughs> she's very interesting i don't know why like of course she seems like a very sonori type character she her say possibly sounds like rin from the fate series so it wouldn't surprise me if that is truly her even though i don't think it is her but it just sounds like her a lot maybe um so as of right now i think that's the only say you that i possibly recognize from this show everyone else like mm -mm. not even the ones who are like ah, da, ah, da. <laughs> but yeah i really enjoy this like this is really cute dead eyes i'm, I'm honestly kind of wait to see how this dance battle between these two is gonna go because of course this is gonna be a really good fight i got mixed feelings on the princess though i still like her she's very interesting she's cute and adorable but she bougie <laughs> it's just that privilege <laughs> of course because i mean typically like she kind of reminds me of um not a well a little bit of the mixture of both of them both of the princesses from um rising the shield hero she it seems like she's more like um the redhead bitch from the series instead of her younger sister only when she seems like she's nice especially in episode one she felt like that but now coming into episode two she feels more like the redheaded bitch that we all hate from chill hero um so yeah i think she's gonna be really interesting i might not like her right now but something tells me that by the time we finish this show i will possibly like the princess a lot more you know when she gets her head out of her ass sometimes you gotta tell people off i'm just saying you know hey uh, believe me because I've done it to people but I've told people off in a nice way but um, like in a good cop bad cop sort of way and that's what she needs she needs a little bit of tough love and criticism just because you are a princess honey bunny doesn't mean you can be like bossing everybody around like hell she had her maid introduce her you are already sitting over here introducing yourself to this girl to Arika so you know you could have just finished and be like no <clears throat> go ahead tell her Tell her who I am. Like, Chad, <laughs> really? Like, yo. <laughs> but still, she is adorable. Honestly, this is a really interesting series, and I can't wait to see what the heck is gonna happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of my Atome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. Really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And I think we'll pull. Blah, blah, I can't speak. We'll put this show on Tuesdays so it'll be easy because I have one Patreon show on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, and one on Thursday. So, there you go. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.